We are here in support of Gracie Solomon. Uh, we are here in support of free speech. We are here in support of Grant Solomon. Gracie testified on camera, uh, on social media, that she has been a victim of uh, a lifetime of molestation, that she has been raped by her father, and that she believes her father murdered her brother. The only investigation that occurred was taking the statement of the suspect, and then the investigation was closed. That is not an investigation. None of the evidence adds up, and there is so much evidence disputed that it deserves to be looked at, and it, the investigation must be opened for, for justice. Freedom for Gracie! Freedom for Gracie! Justice 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 for Gracie! I, I came as a, obviously as a friend of the family, um, my granddaughters have uh, known the kids, uh, Gracie and uh, Grant, you know, for years, and so we, we've known the, known the family for a long time. I've been very concerned that the, that the kids, in particular Grant, obviously before his death, uh, and Gracie now are not being heard by a system that seems to be very biased toward the father's uh, side of the controversy. The mom has been in many times um, assessed by medical personnel and, and found to be competent, and yet that's ignored by the courts. So we're just here that we're here to encourage people to do everything they can to continue to put pressure on the system, on on the all the in the various the courts the schools the churches the, whatever it is the, the community in general that uh, to get an investigation going into what's really going on here and and to continue to support those who have not been heard free speech freedom for gracie justice for grant free speech freedom for gracie justice for grant My best friend who's here with me today, she called me and asked me if I had heard of Freedom for Gracie. I had it. And I pulled up the video and I sobbed. I had never heard someone else. I, it was like looking at a 14 year old version of myself. I had never heard another girl speak of the things that were done to her, um, very similar, that were done to me by my father. I called my mom immediately. I called my mom, I FaceTimed her while we were rallying because it means so much to us to see we didn't get justice. We had 10 years of pain and to see that that's not gonna be Gracie's story. She's gonna get justice now at 14. She's not gonna go 10 years in any more abuse. It's very healing to be here for me because I relate to Gracie. I was 13 years old when my dad brainwashed me, um, charmed the courts, brainwashed DSS, had them all believing that he was an amazing father and he was a church member at the time and just, it's part of being a covert narcissist. You just know all the things to say and, and we didn't understand covert narcissism. My mom was helpless um, and my dad won full custody of me. I didn't see my mom again from ages 13 until I was 23. And during that time, my father abused me alone. He had me alone as a single father and abused and really tortured me for 10 years until I ran away at 23 years old. We lived here at the time and um, yep, finally got the courage and studied covert narcissism, began to understand what it actually was and broke free. So I've been no contact with my dad now for four years and I've been back in relationship with my mom since I was 23 and I'm now 31 and I have three daughters of my own and a, a son on the way and to see Gracie's story 
to see Angie's story, it's so reminiscent of my own. It's been a healing journey to see people come and rally for her and understand her and believe her, to be able to name covert narcissism and to see how the courts can get it so well. And uh, I just, I'm hopeful that this is a sign that it's covert narcissism is going to be understood in the courts, discussed in the courts, and that what happened to me is never going to happen again and will not happen to Gracie, and that she'll get justice. If you had to say anything, anything to say to Gracie, what, what would it be right now? Um, I have said this to Gracie on Instagram, um, just that you're going to live a life with more empathy, more beauty, more strength than you could ever imagine now. You're going to help so many young girls like yourself, so many young boys like yourself, because um, we're not alone. I was not alone, you're not alone in going through what you've been through and being raised by a narcissist parent and having another parent not be believed or understood and you yourself not be believed. But everything that you're doing right now is giving you strength and it's also, it's healing me, it's healing older women and men who went through your journey and didn't have a voice like you have. So you're healing people older than you and you're inspiring people younger than you and keep going.